Good evening. Welcome to our YouTube channel again. Please, if you have not subscribed to Zudo's African Labor YouTube channel, please do so. Uh, I do a lot of advocacy trainings. I create awareness. I do researches on areas where you can get scholarships, where you can get work permits, where you can apply, and I give you some links and all of that. So, but for today, I'm going to be giving you some countries which I've done research upon that you can get um, work permit easily. So, there are about 10 or 12 different countries where you can get uh, work permit easily. So, I'll start by listing them immediately. It's going to be a short video. So, one of them is uh, China, and then the other one is Qatar, the third one is Kuwait, the fourth one is Oman. The fifth one is Canada. The sixth one is um, Man. Man or Malta. The sixth one is Malta. And then uh, another one is Germany. You also have Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, that's Dubai. And then uh, Ireland. These are the top 10 countries that you can get the uh, work visa. Easily, but in as much as I'm saying it here, you still need to go in to the website of the countries and look at it step by step on how you can apply for the work permit and try to meet up with the criteria and then what you need to have, uh, what how you need to apply. Are you supposed to deal with your prospective employer directly? Are you expected to pass through the country's websites? What is the criteria for the visa? What is the number of years? What limits can they give to you? All those things you have to do those research on your own. My own is to bring out the names of the countries that you may get work permit easily. And I've listed about 10 countries for you. So you can go in now to their websites and check. Again, there are other countries where you can also get scholarship to enter the country. Scholarship for schooling, vocational, trainings and all of that and then when you get there maybe before, because you have school day there may also be a criteria for you to do some co-op and from there you get the work permit for how it works our own is to bring out the names of the countries for you you still have work to do to work on your credentials work on your skills find out what is obtainable so there are countries that you don't need to pay nothing to go to school if you don't apply to such schools, you won't know, you know. So, at countries like uh, Chiveni, yeah, place like Scotland, there are schools in Scotland where you can have full scholarship. No cost at all, you won't be paying nothing. And then uh, there is what they call STEM, S-T-E-M, STEM scholarships. That one is strictly for women. STEM scholarship as in S for sunshine, T for tea, E for egg, M for mother. So STEM, STEM scholarships is for women. Then you also have the Commonwealth scholarships. Those ones are for men and women. Check out the criteria. Check. Don't be afraid to look, look for it. Don't just conclude that, oh, it's only those who are scholars. That can be entitled to this type of thing. No, there are some countries that will say, oh, they want to give women. There are some countries that will say, oh, this thing is for youth between 18 and 35. There are some countries that will say, oh, if you made the first class in um, engineering, uh, precisely oil and gas, 